Hello everybody, my name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners and in this episode, and I always say that they're quick, but um, actually they're taking way over 10 minutes, so I'm not going to say that this one is quick necessarily, but we're going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. And what we're, we're going to take a look at is, is continuing with plugin development for WordPress, and in this case we're going to add a um, menu item to the admin bar. Uh, what sometimes is referred to the press bar in the administrative interface in WordPress. So let's actually take a look at what we're talking about here. So if you see here, this this bar right here, the, um, the press bar, actually is pluggable. So you can add items to that. And so in this case, we've added our logo, the Mercados logo, and a couple items so that people can um, go to our uh, about us page in our website and contact us directly as well so uh, this is uh, the example that we're going to be working on today so let's get to it so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove the files that we've been working on start from scratch um, so let's take a look so here in the plugins um, directory and so it's going to be under wp-content in your WordPress installation we're going to go to plugins and you are going to create a, um, a plugin directory for your plugin uh, that in this case I'm calling mkds-admin menu and of course you can call it whatever you prefer but of course it's probably a good idea to always um, keep it something uh, unique so that you avoid any collisions or any name um, conflicts with other plugins <clears throat> All right. So here I have an image of my logo, the one that we're going to be using here. And that's everything there. And of course, I have the code here, which we're going to get rid of right now to start with. So if I actually refresh this, we shouldn't have anything. We get the message that it has been deactivated because of the error. And so if we refresh that, message should be gone. And now we don't really have the plugin anymore. So let's go ahead and start with that. So we're going to create um, a file. And in this file, we're going to create our plugin. So um, of course, we saw this uh, procedure in, a, in another video. So if you're not familiar with how to create a plugin, you can check out that video that we created before. So I'm going to just do this with a text expander to make it a little bit faster. Uh, so I don't have to type it again every time. So I'm going to call the plugin. I'm going to call it um, uh, MKDS admin menu. Uh, and then I'm going to enter the information here, the plugin URL. A description, it allows you to add a new item to the admin menu of your blog and uh, everything else remains the same perfect let's go ahead and save this of course as index.php to that directory that we created and so now if we refresh our installation we should see that we have it right here and let's go ahead and activate it of course, we haven't done anything right now, so it's not going to have a, any functionality. So we're going to start with, with that part. All right. So the first thing to do is we're going to add an action. And this action is going to be attached to the admin menu and admin bar menu hook. And then we're going to call a function that is a custom function that we're going to create. Uh, MKDS add nodes. All right. And we're going to call a function MKDS add nodes. And this function is going to take the parameter that comes from WP admin bar. And uh, basically, what it means is that when this hook is called the admin menu bar or admin bar menu, then this function is called. So what we want is to add a par parent item to, to that menu. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Add a parent item to the menu. And so first let's define the arguments that we're going to be using, which the arguments is always an array. All right. And this array is going to have several, several parameters. The first one, ID, which is not optional. So we have to give it an ID. Um, let's call it parent node. The second one is going to be the title. Um, and for now, we're going to uh, call this Mercados, even though we're going to remove it and change it later to be our logo. Uh, I just want to show you how it how it uh, can be added to be anything for that title of that menu item um, and then let's just uh, let's just leave it at that for now and let's go ahead and add it add the node so to add the node all you have to do is call admin bar uh, the method in this object right here so the method is called add underscore node with, of course, the arguments that we created right here. So let's go ahead and save that and refresh it. And sure enough, we now have our uh, menu item appear at the very top of our menu bar.